One club mana becoming increasingly rare in the modern game, but over the entire history of football, there are many, making this a difficult seven to compile. Included here are only one club men in the most extreme sense of the term, so no players who went out on loan or played even a one-off league game at any level. Taken into account of factors such as importance to the club, length of time spent with the club, loyalty shown, and both their personal and collective achievements. Here are our seven greatest one club men in football history. Lev Yashin The greatest goalkeeper of all time, Lev Yashin spent his entire 20 year career with Dynamo Moscow. He made 326 league appearances for the club, winning 5 league titles, 3 Soviet Cups, and finishing as league runners-up 6 times. The only goalkeeper to have won the Ballon d'Or, and a member of FIFA's World Team of the 20th Century, Yashin scores highly for importance to his club, longevity, and achievements, but it's difficult to assess his loyalty, since Yashin was unlikely to have been allowed to leave Russia at the height of the Soviet Union. Ryan Giggs The most decorated one-club man in history, Ryan Giggs has to feature in this seven. The Cardiff-born Manchester United legend spent 24 years at Old Trafford, during which time he played 963 games. With 34 club trophies to his name, including 13 Premier League titles and two Champions Leagues, Giggs is among the most decorated footballers to have ever lived. Having began life as a quick, tricky left winger, Giggs managed to transition into a highly creative central midfield player later in his career, a move that probably prolonged his career by three or four years. Say Altenordu. Unfortunately, we only have one image of Say Altenordu, and he is without doubt the most obscure name in this seven. Having said that, you could make a case for Altenordu being the greatest one club man of them all. A versatile player, Altenordu could play at centre back, right back, or in defensive midfield, and he spent an incredible 27 years at Altenordu SK. He made his debut at 14, and his last outing at 41, making 847 appearances in that time. You may be wondering why Altenordu shares the name of his club. And no, it's no coincidence. When Sate was just 22, Turkey introduced the surname law, which required all Turkish people to have a surname. The four-time cap Turkish international chose the name of his football club as his surname, and thus became Say Altenordu. A hero at the Izmir club, Altenordu rejected numerous offers from the likes of Fenerbahce and Galatasaray, becoming a legend with his hometown club. Paolo Maldini from an obscure great of the game to a very well-known one, Paolo Maldini is another player who had extraordinary longevity. The Italian legend spent 24 years at AC Milan, making 902 appearances in all competitions, becoming a serial winner. Of his 23 trophies won, the seven Serie A titles and five Champions League triumphs stand out. One of the most highly regarded defenders to have ever played the game, Maldini has to feature, but it was hard leaving fellow Milan legend Franco Baresi out of this seven. Tom Finney there is one area where Tom Finney cannot compete with the others in this seven, and that's when it comes to trophies won. However, when it comes to loyalty, they all trail Sir Tom. It's difficult to overestimate Tom Finney's importance to Preston North End. The Lancashire lad made his debut at the end of the war, and stuck around until 1960. With Finney as their talisman, Preston regularly competed with England's elite. Without him, they slipped out of the first division altogether. Francesco Totti you do well to find a footballer more loved by locals than Tom Finney, although Francesco Totti wouldn't be a bad place to start looking. With nicknames like the Gladiator and the King of Rome, it doesn't take a genius to figure out Totti is a special figure in Italy's capital. The 41-year-old hung up his boots earlier this year, having made his Roma debut in 1992. He scored 307 goals in 786 games for the club, helping them to two Coppa Italias and one Serie A title. There was never a shortage of interest in the Roma great, who once came close to joining Real Madrid, but ultimately stayed at the Stadio Olimpico. Fritz Walter One player who ticks all the boxes, from importance to his club to longevity and loyalty, is Fritz Walter. West Germany's captain when they won their first World Cup in 1954, Walter spent his entire 22-year club career with Kaiserslautern. In that time, he scored 357 goals in 364 league games, an eye-watering record for an attacking midfielder. A god among men in the relatively small city of Kaiserslautern, Walter helped his boyhood club to win two league titles, and they now play at the Fritz Walter Stadium. So that's it for our top seven. Many honourable mentions can be found in the video description below. Thanks for watching, give us a like if you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to subscribe to HITC7s.